Hello friends, I am Dr. Odhesh Singh and I welcome you to Odhesh Academy. Friends, one of the most common misconceptions which people have is that in this world, the good people suffer and the bad people enjoy their life. You will find that majority of the people have this myth that in order to enjoy life, you have to become a bad person because if you are a good person, you are going to suffer. Why such type of feelings are there in us? So let us try to understand whether this is reality or a myth. And if it is a myth, what is the reality? So first of all, I would like to tell you that people have basically four popular type of illusions in this world. The first illusion is most of the people feel that they are good people. I have talked to many people who commit so many crimes, fraud, corruptions, but when you meet them, they somehow believe that they are good people. This is the illusion number one. The second illusion is that other people are bad. So you will find that if you are a government officer, maybe you will feel businessmen are bad, politicians are bad, and everybody else is bad. If you are an old person, you will say young generation is bad. If you are a young person, you will feel old generation is bad. If you belong to a village, you may get a feeling that the people who are living in the city are bad. If you are living in the city, you may feel that the people who are living in the villages are bad. And that type of illusions are there. So most of us have the illusion that other people are bad. Now, the third illusion is that most of the people feel that other people are enjoying their life. They are having a good life. Because what happens that when we meet each other, unless somebody is a very close friend of us, he will not tell you about his problems, his sufferings. He will rather try to pretend that he is very happy. This is how the whole society works. So we believe that to be true. So we believe that other people are very happy. And then the fourth illusion is that you feel that you are having a miserable life or you are having a bad life. Because pain only you can understand. You know what is your problems and you do not know what are the problems of other people and therefore what happens that you feel that you are suffering in this life. So these four illusions which we create actually give rise to two major problems. So once we have these four illusions, what happens that we try to connect the cause with the effect and try to diagnose the cause of our unhappiness. When we are having problems, we don't want to blame ourselves and we try to find out the reasons as to why this problem is happening. And the most convenient method is to make other people responsible for the problem. So how it is done? You put all the four things together and you find that people will say, I am suffering and I am good and therefore because of my goodness, I am suffering. In the same way, when they talk about other people, they feel other people are bad other people are enjoying their life and therefore bad people are enjoying their life. So this is how we conclude this hypothesis that good people suffer and the bad people enjoy their life. This actually creates another illusion. It creates an illusion that we are good people and we are suffering because of our goodness and so we are making a sacrifice because instead of choosing the bad things in life, we are choosing suffering. And that is how we make ourselves great. We feel that we are great people. Actually, it is not so. Because when you attach something bad with the happiness and you don't want to do that bad things in life, that means that you are permanently putting yourself into unhappiness. Because good things you believe will lead to happiness, bad things you do not want to do and therefore you are destined to live only a unhappy life. And that is the problem. So how to get rid of that? So what is the reality? This is what we should know. The first reality is that everybody has to suffer. Suffering is the law of nature. As far as we have a body, as far as we are in this world, we have to suffer. This is the first noble truth of Buddha. If we are unable to see the suffering of other people, it is due to our ignorance rather than due to the reality. So this is first important thing. Good people suffer, bad people suffer. Both of them get ill, both of them uh, die at the old age and so everybody has a suffering. 
Second important thing is that every suffering which we have has a cause. So there is a cause for every suffering. And right diagnosis of the cause is very, very important for our happiness. If we do not know that cause or if we have diagnosed a wrong cause, we can never enjoy our life. Now, ignorance is not a bliss. If you don't know the cause, it does not mean that it will not impact you. If you jump from a building and you don't know the law of gravity, it does not mean that the gravity is not going to affect you. In the same way, just the ignorance of the law does not help you. So we have to have the knowledge. Second important thing is action is very, very important. Right knowledge, right action. See, for example, in our mythology we know that there was a battle between goodness and evil that is between Lord Ram and Ravan. In this battle, Lord Ram win. Now, Lord Ram did not win because he was fighting on the side of the good. He won the battle because he was a better warrior and that is why he won. So your actions are important. Just because you are not copying in the examination, it does not mean that you have any right to top the examination. Your topping the examination will depend upon how much effort you have put in. So right knowledge followed by right action is very, very important for our happiness. And finally, my friend, you must understand that the true happiness can come only by doing the right deeds, only by virtuous action, only by doing the right things you can be truly happy and your happiness will be lasting. All other type of happiness which are coming by vices, by doing the wrong thing, may be give you instant benefits and instant satisfaction, but the pain will be permanently there on your head and you will not be able to sleep properly. So this is very important that the true happiness lies only in the virtuous action, only in the good action. And therefore, in this world, only the good people live their life in a peaceful and enjoyable manner, while the evil people are actually punished. And even when they are not punished by the law or by the society, they are punished by their own consciousness. And therefore, don't fall into this trap that good people suffer and bad people enjoy the life because when you will become a bad person, you will understand that this is totally a wrong concept. Please follow the right path and that is the only path of happiness. Thank you very much for watching the video. Keep watching the video. Thank you very much.